Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. I've been gone for about a year, which is not good. Uh, life happened, but I really hope to be able to post more now on here. I do want to give a huge shout out to my older sister who helped me record without her. This wouldn't have happened. And I really hope you guys enjoy this look. I did the eyes first, and then I'll do the face after. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you want to see, and subscribe. Bye guys. I'm starting off with the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and Custard as my base. This will help my eyeshadow stay and look good all day. I'm going in with Huda's new palette and Warm Brown Obsessions. I'm going to be taking that brown soft shade and I'm going to be using that as my transition shade. It's very beautiful and buttery and it blends so nicely. This is going to help all the other colors blend nicely as well. And I'm pretty much just going in, going it all over my crease, putting some on the outer and inner portion of my lid as well. Just making sure I get that color that I want before switching off to another one. And I'm using the Makeup Shack T70. I will be listing all the brushes that I use down below for you guys. Now I'm going in with this orange shade. I'm using a small crease blending brush to apply that. And I'm going to be mainly focusing it on the outer inner portion of the lid and all over the crease. I'm not taking it up. I'm just going to focus it directly on those areas. This is going to help the other darker shades look and blend nicely as well. Now I'm going in with this purple undertoned brown. I'm going to be placing it right over the orange shade that we put. Literally just directly on it with the same brush that we used for the orange shade until I get that desired color that I want. This brush really helps me blend everything nicely together while still packing in a good amount of color. Going in with the dark chocolate color that you saw, I'm going to be adding some more dimension to this eye look. This dark brown is really going to make the lid color pop and make everything look so nice. Again, I'm using the same exact brush to do so and simply focusing it on the crease and the inner and outer portion of my lid. I'm just packing it on until I get that color that I want. I really, really love a dark contrast to any lid color that I use. It really makes it pop and look so good. All the brushes that I'm using are pretty much from the Makeup Shack. I love their brushes. Now I'm going to be cutting it. I'm using the same concealer that I used for my base. Take your time with this step. I use a flat definer brush from Sigma, but you can use any brush that helps you. I know this is a weird brush to use, but I personally really like it. You just gotta be really patient with it. So now I'm going in with the gold shade and I'm going to be applying it right on top of the concealer for that halo eye that we're going for. And I know I'm applying this with the synthetic small brush from the Makeup Shack and I sprayed it with some Fix Plus and it makes it look glossier and more vibrant. I'm going in with the crease brush that we use to blend it together to not make anything look harsh. And now with this big fluffy brush, I'm going to blend all the colors together that we used for the crease. This brush is magic. It literally blends everything so good. I highly recommend it. To add some highlight to the brow bone, I'm using the vanilla shade and just applying it there. It also helps your eyeshadows blend a little bit too as well. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to be adding some mascara. This is from The Balm. I really, really like this mascara. I've repurchased it again and I even got the double sized. Not double sized, but it comes in two. Gonna curl them super quick. Going in with my lashes, I already applied the glue. I'm using tweezers to apply them. I'll put down the lashes that I use because I know a lot of you guys are interested. Going in, I'm going to moisturize my lips first with Bath & Body Works Lip Balm. I love it. Going in with moisturizing as well, I'm going to be using Clinique's moisturizer. It's not the gel. It's a lotion one, the yellow one. Got it from Sephora. I have dry skin for those who are wondering. And even though I really like to stay matte throughout the day, even in the winter, I still get super dry. So because of that, I'm also using the Mario Badescu spray to add more moisture to my face. I'm going in with the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I'm going to use that to prime my face. I really, really, really love this primer. It's moisturizing, but then it provides a sticky base that helps my foundation and everything else that I put on top last all day. I'm going in with the NYX Dark Circle. Con no, it's not a concealer, it's a corrector. And I'm going to be applying it under my eyes. I have really bad dark circles, but whatever it is, what it is, I never sleep. It's actually uh, 11, 17 as I'm doing this and I have work tomorrow in the morning. But hey, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? And I'm gonna apply it on my dark lines around my mouth. My veins really show there. I don't know why, but it makes my cheeks look even bigger, which is so annoying. I'm gonna be using this sponge. I sprayed it a little bit. It's already damp, but I'm gonna be using that to blend it out. It's from Japanese. You can find it at Ulta or on Japanese website. It goes for $10, I believe. That's what I got it for. I think they're out of stock, but also the Makeup Shack has a really good red one. Now with the Frankie Rose foundation in the shade Olive, I'm going to be applying it. This foundation is medium to full coverage if you build it up. I personally just use one layer and it's perfect for me. I really love this foundation. It stays on all day. It's matte, but it doesn't make my dry skin like get flaky or it doesn't emphasize any dark not dark areas, um, dry areas. That's the word I'm looking for. It has a really nice finish, as you can tell. <clears throat> I'm getting like out of breath as I'm doing this voiceover by the way, guys. So now going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade Sand. I use this as a base no matter what other concealer I use. If I didn't have really dark, you know, circles under my eyes, then I would only use this one because it's amazing on its own. But because I do, I use this as a base. Look at how creamy it is. And it does a really, really good job. Ya me quedo bien escorredita. <laughs> I'm going to continue blending it out. Now I'm going in with the Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. I use the shade Light Sand and I only focus it under my eyes just because that's where I want to cover the most and I'm going to be blending it out. It's a really full coverage 
concealer. It's on the pricey side, so if you're on a budget, Maybelline also has a concealer, the Master Concealer. And that one's pretty good too, but this one is my favorite at the moment. And now I'm gonna be setting it with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and I do bake. I'm gonna put it under my eyes, on my chin, my laugh line so they crease less down the bridge of my nose and on my forehead areas where I could potentially get oily even though I really don't but sometimes you just never know now I'm gonna dust it off but set the rest of my face with the extra powder so I'm not really wasting it I usually bake for about 5 to 10 minutes to be honest. Now I'm going to be using the Bahama Mama bronzer by The Balm. And I'm going to be using a dupe to the Eda brush. I do have the original one but I do like the dupe a lot better. It's from eBay. It takes like a month or two to get to you. But I liked it. Just look up like the Eda brush dupe. And Initially, my contour looks crazy, but I ain't worried, so don't be worried either. It's going to come together once I diffuse it out and blend it out. For me, this bronzer that I use as a contour kind of like goes on like a cream on me anyways. To diffuse it out, I'm using the Milani bronzer in 05 Soleil, and I'm using Marc Jacobs' The Bronze brush to diffuse it out i did notice that my forehead is looking all sorts of crazy but don't worry like i said i'm going to be blending it out i'm going to be diffusing everything out hiding my double chin as much as i can i'm using my powder brush just to continue blending out my forehead because my sister was like girl you're looking crazy and i couldn't have that I'm going to be slightly contouring my nose. I'm not very good at this, so I'm just adding a little bit of shadow. Nothing crazy because I haven't mastered it yet, but I haven't practiced either, so once I master it, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm kind of blending it out with my sponge as well. Going in with one of my favorite blushes ever. This is Warm Soul by MAC. I'm applying that to my apples and this is like a really really nice blush for everything I'm gonna clean up my foundation for my lips going in with the highlight this is a palette by Beach Cosmetic and it is so good it's a six shade spotlight highlight palette and it's so good I use it for my inner corner as well and for my nose. It's one of my favorite highlighters to be honest and it's so affordable. I highly recommend it. I'm going to be also rubbing it with my finger to make it blend better. Now I'm going to be adding a pop of color just to make it a little bit different. I'm using the Electric Obsessions palette. I'm putting on the teal color in the palette, not the glittery one, but the matte teal one. I felt like this really made the eye look look so much better. It just made it look a little bit different. So that's why I really like both palettes together. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of mascara after that. For the lips, I'm going to be using um, Curvy, and this is a ColourPop lip liner by Sarai with ColourPop, the one that they collabed in. Now I'm going to be using the new Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Respect. They're really nice. Well, so far, this one, I was highly impressed with it, and I really, really liked it. It felt really buttery and very creamy and super pigmented to top it off because i am a glossy type of girl and that's just who i am i'm topping it with marc jacobs sugar sugar lip gloss 
and that is all for today thank you again so much for watching this i love you all so much and i'm so grateful for all of you guys until next time take care guys and god bless you all